Might be in the midst of a pandemic, but there are still signs of progress in Detroit. Indeed, there are. Today, Mayor Mike Duggan and others took the wraps off plans to revitalize these long abandoned row homes on Porter Street in southwest Detroit. Business editor Rod Maloney was there for today's announcement. And Rod, we're starting to see a lot more of these projects like this happening outside of the downtown core. Just around the corner from this empty hulk stands the Western International High School and students from that school and others in the neighborhood have been walking past this vacant hulk for at least a generation now. They started three years ago trying to redevelop the place. It's been a long, hard road, but the mayor and others here are very glad today has come because development is about to begin. The Murray Building is one of three with timeless names along with a Suffolk and Victoria century old remnants of the Hubbard Farms neighborhood. Lifelong resident Frank Apolloni says that this neighborhood used to be exclusive. Well, they all used to be like uh, like condos and stuff back in the day for the, the rich people. This is where all the rich people lived at one time. With an assist from the city's strategic neighborhood fund, the Murray is now set to become a 12 unit development, three of those dedicated to affordable housing. So developer W. Emery Matthew says he's working with the neighborhood to get this development right. And I want to be clear, this is not gentrification. This is participation. We're here to ask entry into the community, not to transform it. There's nothing that we have to change about Hubbard Farms. And the mayor says delays are understandable. When you're building Fiat Chrysler plan in the uh, New Gordy Howe Bridge and the Wayne County Jail and the train station uh, uh, and the like. And so a lot of these smaller projects got slowed down. Uh, because the construction costs tended to go up. Hopefully within 10 years, this will be like a gross point or something, you know. Now, there are other reasons why it took so long to get this together, the virus, of course, and then, of course, the negotiation with the neighborhood, trying to make sure that it fits in with the neighborhood's idea of what should be. But they say they've had a meeting of the minds, and they're moving forward. Back to you. Certainly good news. Uh, Rod, do we know when the project will be finished? Well, they're saying spring of 2021, so they're not wasting any time. The expectation is they'll be out there uh, banging away here very shortly. Yeah, good. All right, Rod, thank you.